I make a lot of videos, but this is my last one until the next one. But anyways, I got my friend over there. Hey, I went to see another friend, and I told him, hey, let's delete that. And he goes, yeah, we got to forgive one another. I said, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I said, forgive literal debts. You see, Jesus in Luke 419 got up and took the scroll of Isaiah and he says, I come to announce the year of the Lord's favor, which every Jew today and back then knew that that means the year of Jubilee and the reign of God and parties and banquets. And it has no statute limitations and humanity is in breach of it. That's really the sin that Jesus said, I bring judgment because they don't believe in me. So when Jesus announced it, Zacchaeus, the tax collector, initiated it. He gave half. Hey, and he forgave, hey. right. Hey. And then Jesus said, today you got salvation. I want to party with you. I'm going to hang out with you. And that's hey. what we're doing. Hey, right. Amen to that, right? And Jesus' prayer is, thy kingdom come in heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive our sins. And the prelude to forgiving sins is forgiving debts. Amen. You got it. So, hey, he forgave. That's the Jubilee. And that's what mankind is being judged right now. This virus is May 18th. Uh, God relents if we repent, like Jonah. But we haven't obeyed Jesus. We turn our backs on the sacred command to love each other. And the Jubilee in heaven and earth. For 1900 years, now God's cup is full. We're in Revelation 18:4, all the judgments. Now, if we delete that, all the pastors and priests, you have to announce it. You can't play this game no more. This, that's the gospel. Okay? So when Jesus took the scroll, they took him to the edge of the cliff to kill him. Was it because he's saying, oh, you got to forgive each other's sins or real debts? That's right. Take it serious, brother. So anyway, the debts. I, I want we have to forgive real debts and some people I told a friend and I said let's forgive our debts he goes you know what the same guy I was talking about and I said in Spanish uh, borrar todos tus dedos debto us I go like that something like that <laughs> and you know and that's what it, you know do it again. I can't do it again so let's forgive our debts pastors and priests y'all have to announce this because if you don't God will relent but if you don't, New York is money, Wall Street, the God of this world. When you have Wall Street gone, because that's what Revelation 18 is all about. One hour, the mushroom cloud, radiation. So if you give our debts, you don't do it, that's what's going to happen next. And then someone's going to say, you know, you know what, I got an idea. I think the, the only way to come out of this, forgive our debts, let's start renew. You know, what an idea. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. That's on God's plan. People are going to say, you know, the only way to come out of this uh, present global crisis, financial crisis, is to, to forgive debts, all debts. So, see me now or see me later. And together we can do this. It has to be done together, corporately. You know, we're working together with the mask, and it's a simple thing, but the principle's there. We can work and do things together. God is preparing us for the end, for this end times. So that's what we have to do. Worldwide, forget all the debts. Life is more important. You know? So that's what's next. I teach us the greatest one command. Christianity needs a reformation because you don't see that. You see that you read it ahistorically. But that's all going to change. So let's announce the Jubilee. And visit my website, greatestonecommand.com, uh, with the writings of Verdict Publications who read the Bible historically. And that's the solution. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother.